to me. First thing you hear from the trailer is the voice, Come to me. This dialogue was based on the original game, Stalker Shadow Chernobyl. Idi ka mne. In the first scene, you see three people besides the protagonist, Skiff. One in the center seemed to be a Mon soldier. The other two stalkers seem to be for a new faction called Volt. They are described as the policemen of the zone. This guy in the left seemed to be the leader of the Volt, Colonel Korshnov. The old man appearing in the scene is a doctor from the original trilogy. You can also see several military soldiers in the trailer, as well as bandits in the train depot and the stealth scene. For mutants, we can see several familiar ones from the original trilogy, like blind dogs, pseudo dogs in the cages, and the blood suckers. Many parts of the trailer seem to be take place in a lab or uh, underground levels. Train Depot is back from Stalker, Shadow Chernobyl, and Clear Sky, which seem to be full of bandits. This is going to be the first time we are able to discover the full Dugar radar in the series. There seem to be some swampy areas near the Dugar radar. We can also see areas with apartments, which can be an area near Pripyat. We can also see the military gate in the trailer. This looks like the same location as this concept bar. The HUD element changed significantly from the original game, which reminds me of the minimalistic Misery Mod style UI. On the bottom left hand corner, you can find red health bar, green stamina bar, and several icons which shows a status like bleeding, sleepiness, and hunger. On the bottom right hand corner, you can find the ammo information of the gun. Instead of minimaps, we have compass as a navigation. This is the first look at the inventory system of Stalker 2. Overall, it uses the grid style inventory system which looks very familiar to what it was in the original trilogy. You can also find a weight limitation on the bottom right hand corner, currently maxed at 60kg. On the bottom left hand corner, you can see the amount of money you have. The currency seems to be changed to this K symbol from the rebels in the original game. When you hover your mouse over to an item, you can see the detailed information. Here, you can see the information of the rifle Assault GP-37, which was the name used for G-36 in the original trilogy. Weapon durability is confirmed, suggesting the weapon degrading and jamming will be in the game as well. There is no useless items and junk items like Misery and Anomaly, suggesting there won't be any crafting system in the game. Inventory C also shows what kind of items you can expect to see in the game. Medicaid is back, but you cannot find any bandages, which looking at the healing scene, bandages seem to be gone. Energy drink is back as well, with the non-stop logo, Volca, is now labeled with the artwork of GSC's recent release Cossack 3. You can see there is ammo for each caliber. And if you look closely, you can see there are two different types of 5.56mm rounds, which suggests you can switch between things like FMJ and AP rounds. In the middle of Electro Anomaly, Skiff found a new artifact called Cloud. 